Welcome my lovelies. Today I'm super excited and I always excited to cook with you. Today I'm stuffing fish. I have two different kinds of fish and a very interesting stuffing. But of course we have to season our fish first. So I have with me a red snapper and something like its cousin. It's called a grunt and I've been told that this fish grunts when it comes out of the water when you catch it. I don't know how true that story is but if you know anything about a grunt please comment below and let me know. So of course we're going to go in with our Caribbean secret. This is what I call the Caribbean secret. Our fresh blended seasoning. So I'm just going to do a bit of this to season and because I want to add uh, another dimension of flavor I am going to add some thyme leaves this is a white edge it's also called pudina <laughs> if you know another name for this please let me know as well so I've chopped this up I'm adding that this gives another flavor to the fish I often like thyme and fish I think it's re it really does something special for it so I'm doing black pepper and salt Perfect. So I am just going to rub all of this together, cover this, set it aside, and while that is sitting and taking in all of the seasonings, I'm going to make my stuffing. Let's talk about stuffing. We're stuffing this fish with a very interesting stuffing today, starting with potatoes. Now, I've grated my potatoes. I took some of the skin off. I left some on because I kind of like rustic potatoes, but that's totally up to you. I've grated it on the small side of the grater, shredded it rather, and I let it sit in some cold salted water for a little bit. Then I strained it and squeezed it dry, and now we're going to crisp them up here. So I I'm going to put some vegetable oil in. My pot is on medium to high heat. I want this to cook really nice and evenly. If we can get some crispy brown edges, that will be great. So I'm going to add my potatoes to this. Perfect. And you just want to spread them out. Of course, we're going to flavor because we're flavoring every chance we get. So a little salt and a little black pepper. Perfect. So after I make this stew, I'm going to let it continue to cook and stir occasionally, giving all the potatoes a chance to cook and get crispy little brown edges. All right. So now my potatoes are nice, steamy, little brown, crispy edges. So that gives us many different dimensions of texture. We're going to start adding even more dimension to our stuffing. I'm going in with some pimento peppers and I like to use red and green so we get some color, some garlic, diced onions, mushrooms I know this one is a little different <laughs> and we're gonna keep it trendy and Caribbean with some okras there we go all right everything has cooked down so nicely we have a bit of color and texture we have a little crunch we have a little smoothness so final steps so I have here some sliced boiled plantains that I'm going to add I'm sure you realize by now this is a plantain gill I just find plantain just adds so much to things I can't even begin to explain and if you continue to follow here and follow any of these recipes, you will have the experience <laughs> of plantains in many different things. Plus, boiled plantain gives you such a bright yellow color, you, you can't not use it. And of course, some fresh parsley. I don't know what it is about fresh parsley in fish. Fresh anything in fish really goes a really long way. And I have some seedless diced tomatoes. I took out the seeds because I didn't want too much liquid going into the stuffing. So this is going to come off heat. 
and stir and set aside and just let it cool down a little bit until I can manage it and we are going to stuff our fish and get it in the oven. Final stages here, time to stuff the fish. Now let me tell you, when my Steve, when my fish guy Steve hooked me up, he hooked me up, eh? What he gave me here is not just two types of fish to do this recipe, but he did a special cut called parachute. And he takes care of all of the cleaning and things like that. And all I have to do is come home, make a little lime and water bath for my fish, let them swim around, wash it up a little bit and season it. He makes life so easy. Get yourself a good fisherman supplier like my Steve. Eh? All right, so we're getting ready to bake. I'm going to lightly grease my dish with some coconut oil. I'm just gonna spread around that. Great. So this part is going to be a little messy. So bear with it. Right, so I'm taking my first fish out like this. And then I'm going to take my time and stuff a little bit of everything into my fish. As much as stuffed fish, eh? not lined fish, it's stuffed. So the fish have to look like it had like it got back the insides after a while when we're finished. So and you want to make sure and spread everything out evenly. I like to use this size of fish because it's like a single serving of fish and it's I think a lot easier to serve than if you do one big fish and you have to kind of figure out how to cut it and serve it for everybody. But if you do individual fishes for everybody, then you know it's a little personalized and they might feel a little special. My friends are very spoiled, they feel special all the time even though they give so much trouble. So now I'm onto my grunt and I'm stuffing this one as well. This is such a fun recipe, guys. I hope you try it. Make sure and tag me, send me pictures. I know people usually send me pictures when they make stuff and I absolutely love it. So continue, don't stop. Okay, so now we have fully stuffed, and I'm very extra. I like to stuff things and fill things and do the most, <laughs> right? And then, you know, we have our little secrets, our garlic butter. I will put the link below if you missed the video so you always have access to it. I'm just going to put a little gallop of garlic butter on the top of my fish and just give it a little spread. It's always easier when it's at room temperature. This is going to give us a nice flavor level at the top. <sighs> Guys, look at this. I'm gonna seal these together with some toothpicks and put it in the oven 350 degrees for a little bit until it comes nice and juicy and yummy. Now you would notice I have some extra stuffing. I'm just gonna put that on the side and bake that up as well so nothing goes to waste. Finally out of the oven. Not that it took a long time, it probably took about 35 to 40 minutes to get this beautiful stuff fished all baked and ready. So let's check it out. I can pick this up, put it over to my plate. Still intact, still good. I'm going to remove toothpicks. So we just kind of use the toothpicks to kind of hold everything together so it doesn't try to run away out of the fish. <laughs> and I think we did pretty well here, really, really well. So I'm going to put some of the stuffing on the side because we baked this separate. So any extra stuffing, we just put it into the dish next to it. That's why I use such a big dish. So I'm gonna have some extra stuffing as well. And this is perfect, guys. Let's taste. Let's get a little bit of everything. See if we can get a little bit of everything in there. So we have some fish. Now red snapper is my favorite, so that's why I chose that one. I have a little mushroom, a little plantains, and a little fish. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. <sighs> this makes me feel like I just got a hug. It does 
the fish is nice and fresh because of course we're in the Caribbean so our fish is fresh. Um, I can still taste a little lemon from when I did the lemon and water wash so that is giving me a nice zesty kind of tangy flavor. The stuffing is very hearty and let me tell you let's talk about the plantains. Sweet little accents throughout the little spiciness great texture and I think the okras really give it a nice kind of smooth texture throughout absolutely gorgeous well guys as always a pleasure cooking with you subscribe to our channel continue to follow for more recipes follow us on Instagram and if you try this fish recipe tag me in the pictures have a great day guys bye